Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode in the FPS tutorial series. Today what we're going to be doing is adding in an AK-47 or an M4A1S. I think what we're going to go with is the M4A1S uh, because that will suit the... Um, the SWAT character more. So uh, we need assets for this. We need an asset for the M4A1S. And what I'm gonna use uh, in this tutorial series is the FPS weapons bundle, which is, I'm pretty sure, free on Epic Games. Uh, you can just go onto Epic Games, search an FPS weapons bundle, and you should come up with this. This has, this is really, really nice. This has some really, really good assets. Um, it, all the assets look really nice, as you can see. A uh, really nice AK, a uh, really nice M4A1S. They even come with attachments that we can use um, and stuff like that. I don't know if they come with the skins or not, but we can eventually, if you want to, uh, skin them uh, to add them into your game. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's really, really good. So to add, add this into your project, what you want to do is go over to, once you've uh, downloaded it, of course, um, is add to project, uh, find your project, which is FPS tutorial for me, and add to project. Should quickly add to project for me. There we go. It's because I've got it cached. But the first time you have to download into your project, and we have it here now in weapons and meshes. And what we're going to probably go for is if we AR4. Uh, this is a skeletal mesh, of course, um, because you know it's uh, we can attach stuff to it and whatnot so yeah this is the uh this is the mesh it looks really 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 nice uh, and it's going to suit our game perfectly so uh what i'm going to do is quickly get the sk underscore ar4 grab its physics asset and its skeleton and drag it into third person bp and move it there and now what i'm going to do is create a folder and i'll call this weapons and inside i'll add a folder called ar4 now go back to the third person uh, BP and drag, if you have the folder down here, drag it into there and move it there. Like so, and now we have this. So what we wanna do now is create a weapon base which has data like its ammo, uh, its fire rate, uh, and everything like that. But what we wanna do first things first is basically just add it into our game. So we'll create a um, AR4 underscore uh, base and we'll just add the skeletal mesh in there like so Skeletal mesh And we can compile save and close that now I want to do to actually get it into the game go into the character mesh and go into the skeleton now as I said um, a skeletal mesh has all these bones in it Which you can manipulate and also attach things to which we will do uh, to attach the uh, the AR4. So what we're going to do is over here in preview scene settings, what we want to do is the preview controller. We want to use specific animation and we'll do the idle aiming. This is so that we can attach, uh, when we attach the AR4, we can get it in the right position. So what I'm going to do is go down and find the right hand here, the right hand, and I'll right click and add a socket. Press F2 to sh as a shortcut to rename it, and I'll call this AR4 socket. Or, yeah, socket. What I'll do, again, right click this and add preview asset, and we'll do the AR4. Just the SK underscore AR4. We didn't use the X version, we used this version. Now, as you can see, we, we it's it's not it's not in the right place. So we've got to manipulate and move this socket here so then it fits perfectly. So I'm just going to rotate it around, uh, move around uh, the camera to make it look to uh, really get that attention to detail using the shortcuts uh, to just move everything. Now, as you can probably assume, I'm going to quickly turn off uh, real time if I can do that. Nope, I can just pause the animation. As you can probably tell, the um, the mesh wasn't rigged for this kind of weapon. So we're going to have to put up with a little bit of, um, you know, this kind of stuff. It doesn't fully uh, kind of fit 
properly, which isn't such an issue, um, essentially. What we can do is just put it down here, uh, like so. And there we go. I mean, all together, it looks quite nice. Unfortunately, we can't move the hand or anything. Um, that's kind of advanced, and you'd have to go into Blender and edit the animation, which I'm not going to do. Uh, because that's that that is a little bit too advanced. So yeah, get it around about in the right position, halfway between the the finger being into, sorry, the finger being on the trigger, and him actually holding the gun. So once you've done this, you need to make sure that you memorize that because we're going to be using that. And what we're going to do is in the third person character, we're going to do we're going to use begin play, and what this does. Any code that you attach to this, it will execute on begin play. So what we're going to do, we're going, we're going to spawn actor from class. And the actor, which we're going to use, is the weapon AR4, the AR4 underscore base. So we can just add that, make transform, just like that. And then what we're going to do is promote this to a variable and we'll call this uh, a AR4 uh, weapon. And off of that, we're going to attach, com uh, attach component, uh, mm, yeah, attach actor to component. And then the socket name is going to be whatever you put in here. So AR4, I'm going to copy that. Paste it in there. Begin. There we go. We now have this epic weapon in our game. Uh, looking a little bit, you know, not not too good, not too good. However, um, it, it, it's bearable. It looks okay. What we can do is um, kind of edit this. We can go back into our skeleton and move this around, make it look even better. So now when I save, I can go, I go back, we have like kind of a more, there we go, we have more of a kind of, it, it just looks better, it, look, it looks more fitting. So yeah, we now have a weapon in our game. It looks, it looks really, really good. Uh, obviously in further episodes, what we're going to do is make it so that we can shoot it, it's going to have ammo, uh, and eventually we'll be able to shoot enemies and stuff and uh, add a reload animation. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.